Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. So, um, guys, uh, in this particular video, we are going to talk about different type of accounts in accountancy. So, uh, we have three type of accounts. One is real account, another one is um, nominal account, and third one is personal account. Okay. So, uh, like, if you have a proper clarity about these particular accounts, so that is definitely going to help you while you uh, prepare your journals or while you do the journal entries okay so as the name state if you talk about the person real account it is um, uh, under this particular category we generally include all assets of a firm so we have further categorization like um, uh, uh, tangible and intangible accounts okay so tangible which you can touch like um, company building uh, plant machinery and if you talk about the intangible, we have uh, goodwill, we have patents, we have trademarks and all, okay. And then we have personal accounts. So personal related to individual firms, companies. So they generally come the, under this particular one. And we have further categorization for personal account, which is um, a natural, artificial and uh, representative accounts. Then finally, if you talk about the nominal account, so as the name is state, existing in name only okay so like we have sale account we have a purchase account salary accounts so they generally are uh, they generally falls under the uh, nominal category okay so in this particular video we will generally talk about these type of accounts along with this we will also discuss the um, golden rule of debit and credit for um, all these three accounts okay so this particular video is very very important for your study purpose so when you study accountancy so you need to know about these particular accounts they are uh, you need a proper clarity about these all these three accounts uh, so while you uh, post your entry in journal so it is very it become very easy and uh, uh, along with that you also know uh, you also need to know about the golden rules of debit and credit okay so as i um, told you we have three type of account one is real uh, related to assets of the company uh, then we have personal so uh, like individual companies firms nominal that uh, like purchase account sale account salary accounts they generally comes under this one okay so um, uh, one thing guys Please do uh, read the second paragraphs. That is very important. Okay, so if you have a proper clarity about the um, real personal and all, so that is definitely going to help you while um, you post your entries in uh, journal and uh, when you while you make the journal entries. But if you do not have a proper clarity, so there will be definitely a difficulty while the posting. Okay, so first we have real account. Now what is real account? So all asset of a firm which are tangible or intangible falls under this uh, real account category. So um, all the accounts of the um, uh, all the assets and liabilities of that particular organization, they generally comes under the uh, real account. OK, if you talk about the um, tangible accounts, so we have uh, like uh, buildings, plant, machinery, they generally comes under the tangible. But uh, if you talk about the intangible, so every company, they have some goodwill, so they have some patent rights. So that generally falls under the uh, intangible category. OK, so if you do not uh, in case of real account, so these are um, assets and liabilities and we generally carry it forward them. OK, we do not close these particular account um, uh, 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 in, a, in a specific financial year. Let's say you buy a machinery. So we'll use that particular machinery over the period. Okay. So we'll use for 10 years, 15 years, that particular machinery. So we do not close um, these account at the end of the accounting period uh, appear in the balance sheet. Okay. Thus we carry forward the balance of those account for the next financial year. So what are tangible like um, building machinery, stock lands. These are the major example of tangible accounts. If you talk about the intangible, so we have goodwill, trademarks, uh, patents, so that these kind of things, they generally comes under the intangible real account. Okay, now we'll talk about the golden rule of real account. And this part is very, very important. And if you have a proper clarity about the golden rules for real account, for nominal, for personal, so it does, it, it become very easy while you post your entries in journal. Okay, so the golden rule for real account is debit what comes in 
and credit what goes up goes out okay so i'll give you some examples as well so with these particular example you will get more clarity so debit what comes in uh, and um, credit what goes out let's uh, understand with some examples as well okay so um, here we have an example purchase furniture for 50000 in cash so what is what comes in that is debit so purchase account will be debited and cash account will be credited so the transaction below shown so is the uh, interaction of two different real accounts one is uh, furniture and another one is cash both of them are assets of the company and hence classified as a real accounts okay so furniture purchase for 50000 in cash so what comes in okay so the golden rule is what comes in that is uh, furniture account so furniture account debited to a uh, cash account so um, cash account will be credited in this particular case so while you post your um, entries in journal so you need a proper clarity so what is real account first you need to identify that entry belongs to which type of accounts so once you identify that particular thing then the second thing is golden rule so debit what comes in and credit what goes out okay so hope this is clear to all of you next account is personal account so personal account which is related to individual companies form so let's say uh, there is xyz company like uh, there is a abc company and xyz company so if uh, this that particular uh, transaction happened between these two companies so that is only a part of your personal account okay so uh, like um, uh, like we have human beings natural we have artificial like huf and all and sometime we have representative accounts as well in case of your personal account okay so personal account if you talk about the personal account we have a further classification one is uh, natural another one is artificial and third one is representative account so uh, natural accounts which generally deal with human beings like we have debtors creditors or uh, drawings or uh, capital accounts or other like these are generally part of this one if you talk about the um, uh, if you talk about artificial accounts like we have huf we have insurance companies we have hospital banks government bodies so they generally falls under this particular category and person uh, representative accounts are like some kind of outstanding okay so it uh, it can be profit or loss as well so for that these kind of like outstanding um, uh, outstanding rent or prepaid rent or outstanding salaries or advances so they generally comes under this particular category as well so first one is natural account so natural personal account so natural personal persons are human beings therefore we include the accounts belonging to them under the uh, this particular head so we have debtors we have creditors we have capital accounts okay we have drawings so these are generally comes under your natural personal account second one artificial personal so artificial like uh, entities okay so like we have huf uh, partnership firms we have insurance companies cooperative societies companies municipal corporation hospitals bank government bodies so if that if uh, there is a transaction between company and these particular entities so they generally comes under artificial uh, personal accounts third one is a representative so if you talk about the representative these account represent the account of natural or artificial they are representing they are representing some uh, values of natural accounts or artificial accounts when the expense become outstanding or prepaid and income become accrued or earned so let's say uh, the expense become prepaid let's say we we are uh, Uh, like we paid uh, prepaid rent so prepaid rent is part of this one prepaid uh, premiums okay premiums of insurance and all and even accrued income or unearned income so income from dividends and all that re remain uh, unearned during that particular year so that generally comes under this one so like we have um, outstanding salary accounts so we have prepaid rent uh, we have uh, interest accrued interest okay uh, brokerage earning uh, unearned brokerage so they are generally comes under this particular one so you need a proper clarity even personal accounts we have the further categorization so if you'll have a proper clarity if you talk about the golden rule so golden rule remain same for all uh, three categories okay so uh, but you need a 
further classification or like sometime examiner they generally ask question based on the further categorization as well now if you talk about the golden rule so here for the personal account the golden rule is debit the receiver okay so debit the receiver and credit the giver like in previous case what comes in that is debit what goes out that is credit but in case of personal account so debit the receiver and credit the uh, giver so this way you have to make entries like i'll show you an example so paid xyz limited 10000 by cash so debit the receiver so who is the receiver here xyz limited okay so xyz account will be debited to cash or by check so check means bank okay so uh, paid xyz limited 10000 by check so debit the receiver debit the receiver means uh, who is uh, whose account is getting debited so um, or who is the receiver in this particular case sorry so it is xyz limited and um, uh, we are paying through check so bank account will be credited in this particular case so the transaction that generally show the differences so xyz account credit debited to a uh, bank account credited so this will be your entry in the, uh, in this particular case okay so hope this is clear uh, now next one or final one we have nominal account so third type of account is nominal account so as the name state it is in name only okay nominal so they do not have any uh, existence like we have purchase account we have salary accounts so they have only name okay so nominal accounts are the accounts relating to the expenses losses income or gain okay so like um, expenses in the form of uh, pantry expenses salaries or uh, losses through investment income through investment or project and all okay so the uh, dictionary meaning of nominal is existing in name only so similarly here as well we have uh, the um, uh, uses of nominal accounts and they they generally exist for a uh, time being okay so they are not permanent so you you cannot carry it forward these particular accounts so these are temporary accounts and thus we need to transfer their balance to trading and uh, pnl account okay so profit and loss account uh, at the end of accounting year so in case of um, real account we generally carry it forward their balance for the next year but in case of nominal accounts they they, they are kind of temporary account so uh, at the end of the period or at, at the end of the financial year we generally uh transfer their balance to the trading accounts or profit and loss account okay so therefore these accounts no ba no balance to be carried forward for the next financial year now if uh if you talk about the golden rule of uh, uh, uh golden rule for the nominal accounts so like before coming to the golden rule we have some examples like um, um a purchase account we have salary account sales account commission receipt bad debt so they are generally part of your nominal accounts so if there is any entry related to purchase account or sale salary accounts or um, commission related brokerage related so they they'll generally part of this one so the result of all nominal accounts is either profit or loss okay so the we have a certain outcome for these particular accounts in a given time duration and in that particular given time duration either we make a profit or we make a loss from the from these particular accounts okay uh, now if you talk about the golden rule so golden rule is debit all the expenses and credit all the income so in case of uh, nominal account the golden rule is debit all the expenses okay let's say uh, we have uh, like let's say we paid salary so salary account will be debited okay in cash so cash account will be credited uh, credit all the income we receive some brokerage from other like we receive some uh, like we we receive some dividend so that will be part of your credit okay so debit all the expenses and credit all the income so example we can take uh, purchase good for uh, 15000 in cash okay so purchase account will be debited here so the rule was debit all the expenses so purchasing things that generally make it's a inward so we are making some expenses so purchase uh, goods for 15000 in cash which means purchase account will debited to cash so we have uh, uh, on credit or whatever that that particular entry is okay so debit all the expenses and credit what goes out 
so all the expenses or all, all income so it is all the income okay so please do correct this one so credit all the income so the following example that uh, transaction between nominal accounts interact uh, with the real account so how we generally deal with these particular one okay so guys um, i hope uh, all these three type of accounts are clear to all of you so account which generally deal i just summarize these particular one in a quick manner so real account which generally deal with the um, all assets of a firm so we have tangible and intangible okay so the the golden rule was uh, debit what comes in and uh, credit what goes out and uh, personal if you talk about the personal accounts so personal accounts is related to individual companies firms okay so we have further categorization like uh, natural account human beings related then we have artificial like companies um, firms or ngo and all uh, representative accounts are kind of retrospective it can be profit or it, they can generate profit or loss okay and like we have outstanding salary out of outstanding uh, 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 outstanding brokerage so we have prepaid uh, rent so these are generally part of your representative uh, personal account and third one was nominal account so it generally exist in name only okay so like um, we generally close these particular accounts in a financial year and we generally transfer the balance for trading or uh, pnl account okay so like we have purchase account we have salary account we have sales account we have uh, uh, like bad debts so these are generally part of your nominal account okay so uh, the golden rule was debit all the expenses and credit all the income so now the next thing i uh, will quickly revise the uh, golden rule with this particular chart and please try to remember this one okay so in case of personal account if you talk about the personal account so the rule was debit the receiver and credit the giver okay so debit the receiver credit the giver so uh, like let's say there is a receiver okay who received that particular one so you have to make a debit entry for that particular one and if there is a um, uh, the another one thing like if you talk about the re real account like i'll give you an example like as we discuss now one example like purchase furniture for uh, 50000 so receiver is purchase size so purchase account will debited and um, cash account will be credited giver so giver account will be credited so a real in case of real account sorry personal account debit the receiver and cash person just clear this particular one. i uh, mess up with this uh, real account okay so uh, if you talk about the personal account so personal accounts the rule is debit the receiver so like uh, we paid um, a abc limited 10000 by uh, uh, by cash okay so here your uh, abc account will be debited in that particular case and if you talk about the nominal account so like let's say we purchase goods for uh, cash of 15000 cash or 50000 cash so your purchase account will be debited in this particular case okay so debit all the expenses and losses and credit all the income so this the this is the golden rule of uh, the accountancy and you need a proper clarity you need to remember these particular thing okay so you can make a chart or you can practice these particular thing so you will get a, like when you will do entries na do not worry about these particular thing okay so when you will do actual entries in your journal so you will automatically uh, remember those particular thing only thing you need that is you need to practice about uh, a personal account real account or nominal account so as you will start doing uh, uh, practice about these particular thing so it become very easy or it it become very understand like you will easily understand the different different uh, categories or uh, the golden rule of accounting okay so uh, guys um, in uh, this particular video we uh, generally uh, try to discuss the different type of accounts so what is a real account what is personal or what is nominal account and uh, the related uh, golden rule as well so hope it is clear to all of you still if you have any query please do mention in comment section so i'll um, I'll, I'll come back i'll try to address your queries as well and uh, if you like the video, please do share with your friends and uh, um, uh, if you are new to my channel, so please do subscribe so um, we can increase our reach. Okay, so this is it. Thank you for watching this video.